Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel, here we go. This could save you a packet or it could be a waste of our time. Let's see what happens. We've got a number of uh, air filters and cabin filters here from our last trip. These have all done minimum 14,000 Ks on dirt and dust, okay? There was some blow air blowing uh, cabin filters out and you can already see the difference. How clean, that was pretty clean before the trip. That's gonna breathe, that's gonna be okay. That's not bad, that's been blown out on the trip and since the trip. This one, I reckon it got blown out at some point as well. That's one of those uh, Westville, as you can see, the WACFO40. This is a genuine, and you can see the sides already ripped. I don't know if the, how that happened by accident, whatever. So, because these are really thin paper, they work really well, but they're going to be harder to clean. These are really robust, right? So, if you want to be a tight ass and clean your uh, cabin and air filters, then the 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 WACF Westville type style could be the go. This is another genuine, and you can see just there, see that little rip in it already? They are quite sensitive, right? They get ripped easily. And this is another genuine, so this is the 1GD, 1GD, 1KD, we'll call it WACF, and the 1GD Hilux, right? That cabin filter and that air filter. We're gonna go and do our usual washing. I don't know if you've seen many videos on those. We've done a few. We're gonna get out there with a pressure washer, the degreaser and all that, see what happens. And then we've got another way to clean them up our sleeve. We're gonna see what happens. Let's have a look and see what happens. Okay, control freak here. Camera in one hand, pressure washer in the other. Now, I already just turned it on and I'm not necessarily washing it in any particular direction. I just wanna get water into it to watch and see what comes out without ripping it, hopefully. I'm getting the, I think I'm the one getting the wash here, but look at that. A lot of the dust is coming out, and I'm keeping a distance so that we don't rip it. That looks pretty good, doesn't it, for cabin filter? Mate, we're all smiles here anyway. Did you notice at the start there was all dirty water coming through the other side, yeah. and now it's not? So, hey, these things are like, these are 60 or 70 bucks, aren't they? Here, flip him over, let's hit it the other way. I don't really care which way it goes in or out. What do you reckon? I'm not going to put that back in my car. Buddy, absolutely I am. That's Pretty awesome. By the time we let that dry out, let's start doing this with all the customers' cars, but we'll charge them full price anyway. <laughs> of course not. So there it is, we had a bit of a giggle. Now that little rip bit, I don't think it's got any worse, so maybe we accidentally ripped that, I don't know, my fault, okay? I don't normally do that, but you want it whiter than that, mate? Put it in some White King, or the next plan is we're gonna try some Oxy Action, but I'm happy with that, and I don't wanna risk damaging it. The other thing you gotta be careful of is the fluffy stuff on the end that helps it seal. If you hit that with a pressure washer, you could uh, damage it. There you go, replace only, do not service. What a lot of bollocks, mate. We're gonna service these, all right? We're not, we're not doing this. You need to watch the videos. We'll do it on our cars. You need to watch the videos and see this funny business. And this is where you learn. What are we gonna do next? Let's do the highlights one next, that one. Get it in position. If I can do this holding a camera and a pressure washer, you should be able to do this better than me, right? I'm no expert at this. I just want, I'm trying to, de I put it flat in the sink. I'm trying to demonstrate what might come out of it. And remember, I'm gonna try not to hit this part on the end here too much. Hey, you know when you're at primary school and there was this thing with the kids or the teacher and they said, can you rub your tummy and pat your head at the same time? Did you ever try that? Did you try that at school? Yeah. Rub your tummy and pat your head? Could you do it? Yeah. I could do it easy, right? So this is where it comes into play, where how well can you do the camera work and pressure wash at the same time? You notice all that dirt coming out? It's crazy, isn't it? 
I reckon leave it the way it is for the moment. I want to push a bit more through. Do you want to actually, since I've got my hands, do you want to flip it end to end, please, sir? Just flip it so, yeah, the other, that's it. 180 degrees. Uh, one more, please. One more. That's it. So we can see the other end. Oh, it's nice and wide. Isn't it? There's no end to the dust coming in. It's like washing the car and the rear door. Let's flip it now, yeah, whichever way, upside down, back to front. Yeah, yeah, you can see it's still got colour in it. But you know there's a lot coming out. And if it was... Br what you notice sometimes with your cabin filter is you won't notice the air blowing through the vents. It'll start to reduce down if it becomes blocked. Um, as long as it still flows, this is not going to stop filtering. See that? It's not going to stop filtering. So as long as the air still flows and you've got no smell, no dust in your face, happy days. Anyway, you get the drift. We're going to keep cleaning this uh, Westfield cabin filter and uh, hopefully this video saves people cumulative hundreds of thousands of dollars in silly cabin filter replacement. So this is only costing us a bit of water, a bit of electricity and it's coming up really clean. These are not that expensive. We pay about 15 bucks for them, okay? I'm going to sell it to you for 25 or 30 whatever the retail is. I'm here to make money. I'm up front, I'll tell you. I'll show you how to change it yourself. You know where you can buy it yourself, or I can do it for you. Now you can even clean it. So not only is it costing me money, it's costing Westfield, Toyota, and everybody money because we're cleaning filters now. When that water runs clean, you know it's clean. This is just absolutely beautiful. If you haven't already subscribed, turn the bell on because this video is getting to be a bit longer than I planned, and we'll probably do the air filters separately in another video. We're not going to like white king these things or oxy action straight away or anything like that. White king's a bleach, so it's going to make it look clean when it's not clean. I'd rather get the dirt out, so that's what we're going to do. This is the genuine Hilux one. Do you remember how much these are? The Hilux cabin is about 70 or something? Or 80? Something like that's up there, mate. That so, might even be trade price. Anyway, let's blow it away. 60 bucks. Yeah. Flipped it. It must have wanted to get flipped on its own. Here we go. That's all right. Oh, it's flipped it again. Here we go. In there. Right. It was actually really good up on the side showing you how much crap was coming out of it. Now, that's already 90%, but we're going to make it uh, 99. And I'll tell you what, for 60 bucks, absolute bargain. Now, I just want to add to this. This is the original from zero kilometers. Yep. Right, so see how it's got a bit of discoloring black? Once they get like that, it's probably time to replace it. This is only going to be kept for off-road use, if you know what I mean. So there's a nice clean one in there. He'll use that for on-road. And when he goes to hit the high country or an outback trip, this can go back in there because there's no point wrecking your good one. And then when you come back from the trip, you just put your good one back in if you follow me. Anyway, that's the idea. Okay, so you're not going to get it back to white unless you bleach it because it is um, discoloration. It's kind of like, you know, all the crap in the air, the diesel soot that you'd be breathing in your vehicle if it wasn't there to filter it let's say, and a bit of sort of like, kind of like mold, moisture type stuff maybe. I don't really know, I'm not the expert on that stuff, but look at this, how clean it is now. Just clean water running out of it, it's just some stains in the, the old kitchen sink there, everything but the kitchen sink, everything including the kitchen sink. We're going to put these three out to dry, that's a video guys. Um, subscribe, turn the bell on if you want to see how to clean an air filter. It might be a little bit more time consuming because they um, sometimes can take a bit more to get the uh, dust out of them. And we're going to try something different compared to what I did in the last video. Thanks for watching guys.